hello, 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 everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Heat Press Nation Live. Today's a very special episode because today, in case you haven't noticed, is Cyber Monday. I am super stoked uh, to be here today. I'm super stoked for all the craziness. Honestly, it's pretty wild uh, here at Heat Press Nation uh, today, but we're so excited uh, to be, of course, having our big Cyber Monday sale. Uh, and then, of course, here to be with you. Now, today, I do got a special treat for you. I am going to be giving away two $50 gift cards at the end of this stream. It's happening right now. Uh, so don't worry. I'm going to recap the sale. I'm going to uh, do actually I have a white toner demonstration that I'm going to be showing you guys today. And then at the end of the episode, yes, 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 I am going to be giving away two. That's two dose. We're giving away two $50 gift cards to Heat Press Nation. What's up, uh, Evelyn's in the house? She's saying, what's up? Uh, if you guys want to shout out, go ahead and just throw it in the comments. I'm going to be shouting everybody out today uh, in the comments section. Now, I'm going to dive right into it, okay? Uh, so today, yes, Cyber Monday. If you guys know the way that we structure our big sale is we actually give you guys pretty, well, we've been running sale items since the beginning of the month. I'll just say that. Um, but today, a fresh batch of deals, the a fresh and final batch of deals have been added to the sale. So today, uh, the Vinyl System Specialist 52-inch vinyl cutter went on sale at over 50% off. This machine is only $329.97. That is wild. Uh, the Signature Series 16x24 Auto Open is on sale, $699.97. Uh, that is a huge discount. That press rings in at uh, over $1,000. Uh, so to have it at $6.99 is awesome. The Vinyl Systems Evo 52-inch vinyl cutter. We have another machine that is over 50% off. This is $5.89.97. The Black Series 16 by 20 inch heat press is $4.69.97. That's over 200, that's like $280 off. And then the Signature Pro 15 by 15 inch swing away heat press with sure pressure, $200 off at $5.99.97. Also, you're gonna get 10% off of all business packages. Okay, oh, there we go, people in the chat. Let's see, let's see, T-Town says, heck yeah, let's go again, right? That's the kind of energy we're looking for today. Uh, Evelyn says, I need that $50 for my items in my cart. Yes, for sure. Sam is tuning in from Newark, New Jersey. Sarah says, uh, my critical wear says hi from, Sm uh, or sorry, my my critical wear says hi from Palm Springs. I love Palm Springs. Doggone, you make, you know, I want to go to Hadley and get a date shake like ASAP. Uh, Evelyn says, yeah, <laughs> for a cart. Awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited to be here. Uh, we're going to be demoing this press. Like I said, this one's on sale right now. Uh, and you know what? I, I will say this, and please let me know in the comments if you agree. Black Friday this year was kind of a bust, right? Uh, on Black Friday morning, I stopped at Target a little after 6 a.m. on my way to work and, you know, hoping to score some deals and, and like, it was kind of a letdown, man. And then all weekend long, I've been shopping at like different, you know, online shopping at different companies and like, you know, a little 20, a little 30% off here and there. Not at Heat Press Nation, no. We have dug deep to make sure you guys get some insane deals. Uh, and not only that, like, yes, we have new deals that did drop today, um, but we actually started two Fridays ago. And then every day last week, we had a new batch of deals that get stacked on. So now we have our, just this most massive collection of sale items. So to kind of recap, um, well, actually, at the beginning of the month, and we'll show it on screen so you guys can see it, but at the beginning of the month, we had a bunch of cool stuff go on sale. For example, you get up to 20% off of uh, Sawgrass inks. Um, Sawgrass printers were up to 10% off. Um, we had a bunch of stuff that went on sale. So it was super, super cool. And then moving on, uh, so starting Monday of last week, Monday, November 20th, the HPN Universal Heat Press Stand, $60 off. It's only $200 or $199. Uh, really quick, CEG says, I was in Florida and I did get some decorations for half off. Okay, there we go. See, half off, that should be like the starting point. You know, if you're if you're a store and your Black Friday to sale doesn't have anything at half off, did you really do Black Friday? <laughs> Roseanne says, the best deals seem to be online. If you're talking about Heat Press Nation, then you better believe it. Uh, so we have the Signature Pro also on Monday, November 20th, 
Signature Pro went on sale, that's $899. Signature Series 1515, $499. That's the slide out. Black Series 1515 Auto Open, $469. You can get $50 off the Caesar Romeo and Juliet cutters, 30% off of heat transfer supplies, and up to $1,500 off of Uninet White Toner DTF printers. It's pretty insane. Uh, not mentioned there, you can also get up to $1,000 off the Creo. Today, I am gonna be doing a white toner demonstration in a few minutes. These were printed on the Creo 8432 WDT. Um, really quick, sorry, Marnie says, just getting here, welcome, welcome. Uh, CEG says, so if I hit that send button for items in my cart, can I apply that $50 to it? <laughs> LOL. You know, you'll have to wait and see if you're a winner. Um, so, and if you are a winner and you have a $50 gift card, just put that towards a new order. Uh, Roseanne uh, Haller says, well, of course. There we go, there we go. Uh, on Tuesday, November 21st, here's where the deals start getting a little bit richer and richer. The discounts get a little bit deeper and deeper. 30% uh, off of heat transfer paper, 10% off of sublimation paper. Uh, by the way, the transfer paper that I'm using today, if you have a white toner printer, the white toner transfer paper, Forever Laser Dark, that's on sale 30% off. Stuff ain't cheap, so now's a really good time to stock up on that. Okay, but the Craft Pro 13 by nine, if you're looking at the mint and pink colorways, that's uh, discounted 349.97. If you're looking at the uh, white with the splash of blue colorway, 329. Craft Pro 12 by 15 inch swing away, $80 off, that's 299. And then the Mug and Tumbler Press is $120 off, 249.97. That's a steal, that's the pink, but the mint has also since gone on sale. And that one is also $249.97. Okay, moving along. I'm moving along with the recap. We're gonna get to our demo right now. We're gonna get to our prizes at the end of the episode. Uh, and anybody who wants to get a shout out today, let me know where you're tuning in from. Uh, let's see here. Alicia says, hello everybody. Hello to you too, Alicia. Uh, Wednesday, November 22nd, we saw the vinyl systems go on sale. Here's where we have some incredible, excuse me, I'm gonna cough. Fight. I've been fighting this cold for like a month now. My son keeps bringing back like new diseases from daycare. It drives me nuts. Anyways, uh, the Vinyl System Specialist, 34 inch, $260 off. That's almost 50%. It's at 279 right now. The Edge 52 inch cutter, over 50% off. Uh, it's $429.97. You guys, I don't think you can, well, no, I'm sure you can fathom it, but that's like wider than my wingspan here. 52 inches and it's the edge. So it has that print and cut feature. So this is gonna be great if you're doing like large format sticker printing and you want, cause I know there's like print and cut machines that you know, your printer, it'll print it and then it'll cut it. But while it's cutting, you could be printing. You know, it can only do one function at a time. So for the fastest production speeds, you're gonna wanna have your printer and then cut it separately. So while it's cutting, you could be printing your next job. So the 52 inch vinyl system edge, absolute beast. It's over 50% off today. The Evo 28 inch cutter. Okay, this is probably one of my favorite deals. 50% off, it's 499.97. This, the Evo has a, what we call servo motor in it. That means not only are you gonna get better speed and precision, you're gonna have quieter operation. It's just, it's absolutely insane. I love the Evo. Um, if you've been looking for a pro, cutter, you want to step up to that servo motor, but you don't want to break the bank. Already, it's one of the most affordable servo cutters on the market. And now with this Black Friday, Cyber Monday discount, it's one of the most affordable cutters in its size, period. Insane. Okay, uh, Specialist 28 inch, if you don't need to print and cut, uh, if you're just cutting vinyl, dude, $259.97, my gosh. You know, I don't know how we're making any money with some of these discounts, like geez Louise, if, if I don't get paid this week, it's because you guys bought too much of the super deep discounted stuff. Like, it's crazy. Uh, really quick, moving on. Signature Series 1515 multifunction is $100 off. And then Stalls has their three most popular presses. You get $200 off each one. So the 360 IQ, Auto Clam 1620, and Fusion IQ 1620, 200 bucks off of each of those. Super Color, okay, really quick. Super Color, you guys saw me demo it last week. I absolutely love Supercolor, but just so you know, the 15% off of Supercolor ends today. 
Get your orders in today if you want to take advantage of that 15% off super color. Now is a good time to let you know um, that our sale, it's Cyber Monday. You want to act fast um, because the sale items are while the allocated supplies last. Um, so even though our sale runs till tonight, and even if it does get extended, your, the item that you want just might sell out before then. So if there's something you want, act on it fast. Uh, we are amazing at customer service. We have over 2,500 five-star reviews on Google to prove it. But like, that's like the only thing. In the whole year, the only thing we've really ever put our foot down on is like once something sold out on Black Friday, like that's it. The sale price, like if you miss Black Friday, Cyber Monday, that's it. Uh, so just want to give you guys a heads up on that. Um, but yeah. All right, Thursday, we were all home uh, enjoying turkey and food with our families, but the internet doesn't sleep. So on Thursday, Black Series 1515, $110 off. Empress 1515 comes in at $319.97. You guys can start your business using Supercolor transfers. All you need is a heat press. And at $319.97, it doesn't get much better than that. Black Series 1515 is $419. Uh, the Signature Pro 12 by 15 inch swing away, $429. Uh, Signature Series 1624 with the slide out, $649 for that massive heat press. You guys, I'm telling you, I'm going to be living in a van after this because we, you guys are get, taking all the money. You guys are taking all the discounts. I don't know how we could afford to discount this cheap. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Uh, let's see, Black Friday, uh, which just happened. Craft Pro Mug and Tumble Press, I already mentioned in Mint, is $250. The Craft Pro 1515, okay. One of the most popular presses on the market right now. You see it in everybody's videos, all the cool influencers, uh, all the crafters, they have this heat press. In, uh, it's on sale right now. Blue and pink are $100 off, $399. Oh, it has the slide out drawer, it's beautiful. Uh, and then the Mint model is $50 off at $449. And then closing out Black Friday, Signature Series 15, 15 inch swing away, which is basically this machine, but without the uh, sure pressure, $5.99. Okay. <laughs> Ken says, you're in luck. Living in your van is cool now. <laughs> so funny. Bearded dad is in the house. Uh, let's see. Alicia saying hello, everybody. Uh, Fong Vu says hello, everybody. Norris uh, Weldon from Iowa. What's up, Iowa? Uh, I was about to say, hope... Uh, how the potato's doing, but that's that's Idaho. As you know, it gives you an idea how smart I am. Uh, Dolores White uh, from Exotic Creations says hello from Texas. Fozzy Foster coming in from Vegas. What's up? Uh, Ken Jenkins, what's up? Jacksonville, Florida. Oh, very cool. Florida's in the house. Then we got Linda uh, coming in from Bradenton, Florida. Very cool. Designs by Arias says hello from Maryland. Oh, nice. New England in the house today. Uh, let's see who else is who else coming in. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, just a reminder, uh, you do want to stick around to the end. I'm giving away two $50 gift cards at the end of this stream, and I am coming back at 3 p.m. Pacific time. I'll have another pair of gift cards to give away then, and a new demonstration. Uh, really quick, Jason says, uh, bought the 1515 Signature Pro Swing Away. Oh, we bought this one, uh, and can't wait to receive it. Awesome, that's so exciting. Well, let's head on over here to the demo, to the demo table. Uh, I do want to show you guys what we're working on today. Today, it is. I don't. I like how I mount this chair like a dog on horse. It's so funny. Anyways, so today we're doing what we call a white toner DTF demonstration. Now, the only thing I'm not going to show you is the print. Um, these were these graphics, and they don't look like much right now, but these were printed on a Creo white toner printer. We use the Creo. Uh, what is it? Oh no, let me see. Creo 8432 WDT. Uh, right now, you can get $1,000 off that printer. So it's really awesome. Um, and yeah, so it prints. The reason why it's called White Toner DTF is because it does print directly onto this film. So you have the print, and it does print in white. Prints onto this film. And then this sheet, this is not just regular paper. This is the special adhesive paper. And I'll show you what, how that works in a minute is what we're going to use, right? We're going to put adhesive on. Now, these prints, they might look a little empty. Now, there's a reason. One of the cool benefits of using a white toner printer uh, is the software, in the RIP software. And we might need to go overhead to show this off. I'll show you in a second here. So in the RIP software, what we're able to do, and it doesn't, again, I'll, I'll show you in a little bit. We're able to remove the black from our print. 
So you see how this print has a, it's actually transparent. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let the black or the dark color of our t-shirt actually fill that in. It's gonna save us on toner, but what it's really gonna do, it's gonna help us to create some incredibly soft transfers. There's another thing that we could do here, and that's called rasterization. Now in rasterization, what we do is we either render holes or dots uh, for our graphic to kind of break it up. Now, as you can see here, and, and I'll press both of these right now, still looks pretty darn cool, um, but it's gonna be super, super soft, especially when you compare it to like printable vinyls and things like that. Really quick, uh, Cadence is saying hello from Texas. Uh, Beauty Dad says dibs. I don't know if it works that way, but you know what? I would love it if it did, that'd be great. <laughs> Paul says, hi everyone. Veronica's coming in from New Mexico. And Evelyn says white toners are game changers. They really are. I know DTF um, is really hot right now, especially the liquid ink version. The problem with liquid ink is, and it's, it's not necessarily a problem as long as you can, you know, you're there to manage it. A lot of maintenance can be a little bit messy. You got to deal with the powders, the fumes. If you have the workspace for it, go for it. We actually had a really great interview on our podcast um, um, about, and we talked about that. And we were, we were talking to the t-shirt buddy and yeah, he does, he does DTF and he was telling us like, yeah, if, if you have the workspace and you know, you're wearing your respirator and you have all that together, DTF is beautiful. Problem is not everybody has that. Not everybody has the space. Not everybody has the ventilation. Not everybody has everything that you need for DTF. Um, as a result, and, and then also not everybody can do the daily maintenance required. Some of us have day jobs, right? That's why I love white toner. It prints a very stable product because it uses a dry toner system, not a liquid ink system. So this, I printed this just literally like five minutes before we came live. Um, but even if this was fresh, it wouldn't smudge because it's a dry system, very stable. Now, another thing, and where the white toner gets its name from, excuse me, I'm bringing up a sample here. Bringing up a sample here. So. This is a different graphic, but I'll show you what it looks like for reference. So, oops, here we go. So this graphic is what I put here. Now, when you're working with, you know, transfer paper, this is a light transfer paper, so there's no white ink, there's no white backing. When you print with no white ink and no white backing, instead of looking like this, it looks like this. So where white toner comes in, oops, so where white toner comes in is, as the name implies, there's white toner or white ink. And so it's able to print white. So instead of looking all faded and ugly like that other one, we can actually get full color graphics on our dark t-shirts with no cutting, no weeding. Uh, so without any further ado, I'm actually gonna show you uh, with this graphic. Let's head on over to our heat press uh, for today's demonstration. And I'll show you how easy it is to work. So, got our heat press coming up. I'm just gonna open this up here. There we go. Now, one thing I do wanna do, my press has been hovering over this bottom plate um, for a little while now. So the bottom plate is warm. If your bottom plate is not warm, what you're gonna wanna do is you just wanna pre-press it at full temperature for anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. Um, because my bottom plate was already warm, I'm just gonna, Honestly, 10 seconds is gonna be fine. That's because the top was hovering directly over it. So it's already warmed up. And adjust my time really quick. I need 90 seconds on the clock. Actually, we're gonna go 100. Eh, no, 90. I have 320 degrees on the clock. So the way it works is, this is my print, but there's no adhesive on it yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it print side up and you can kind of get a better idea. You see how it has the white undercoat? So that's the full color graphic, but under it, the printer lays down white. And that white base, that white under base, or, uh, that's what's gonna let it be seen on my dark shirt. So I'm gonna place it with the print facing up. And this is my adhesive sheet. I don't know if you could see the watermarks, but there's a watermark side to let you know what the back is. I'm gonna place my adhesive sheet or the B sheet, adhesive side, down. And I want to make sure that none of the adhesive part is, is touching my heat press. Now, oh, where is it? There we go. Now, what I'm going to do is tear off a fresh piece, fresh piece of parchment, but I'm also going to rip off a little shred right here. And that's going to go inside for my peel. 
So I'm going to place it right here in the corner in between the two sheets of paper. That's going to help me start my peel. Trust me, you want to be doing that every time. Really does change the game with helping you peel. I'm going to cover everything. I have a nice medium firm pressure on my heat press. 320 degrees, 90 seconds. I'm going to put on some gloves right now um, because it's going to get really... Oh, hold on. I'll move over there in a second. Sorry. Hi. <laughs> Uh, I am going to go to the other side uh, when it comes time to peel, uh, just so I don't block the camera, and so I can peel it properly. So when we're working with white toner, the adhesive is very pliable when it's hot, and it's very rigid and strong when it's cooled. For this reason, when I need to peel the adhesive and I need it to stick to my print, I want to peel it hot. But when we put it on our shirt, I don't want it peeling off my shirt, so that's why we peel it off the shirt cold. Uh, really quick here, uh, a few questions. Um, sorry, sorry. Small letters, bad eyes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Marnie is asking, how long does the white toner prints last in washing? That's a great question. So that actually depends on how you process it. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys a probably a best case scenario. Um, in this graphic that we heat pressed, we did two things. I removed all the black from the image, and I'm letting the dark, uh, the dark color of my T-shirt fill that in. So that's step one. We removed a lot of the toner. We broke up the coverage on our graphic. Number two is we did add what we call rasterization. And in rasterization, um, and I'm just keeping an eye on time, uh, that's when we add a, an additional processing step. I'm going to have to come around, and I will finish that question uh, in a brief moment. So I'm coming around here. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to swing my press away. Remove the parchment. And now, where my peel starts, I'm going to lift that edge, place my hand down, and slowly just peel. I know my arm is kind of blocking it. I'm so sorry. At the very end, we're just going to slow it down. There we go. I got a beautiful peel on that. Was I, did I block? I was blocking a lot. Sorry, my big arm. Now, I know I did a good job, you know, with trying to be modest, but not really. There's no toner left on this sheet. If you have toner left on your adhesive sheet, on the B sheet, what that means is that you probably didn't uh, peel it uh, hot enough. Another thing you'll notice when I was peeling it, I made sure to keep the bottom, keep, it, keep the transfer touching the bottom plate. You don't want to lift it. You don't want it to lift up because then air could get under it and that air can cool portions of the graphic. And when that cools, again, the, the adhesive is very strong when it's cool. So if it even cools down a little bit, what's going to happen is the adhesive is going to set and it's going to bond this, these two sheets together. And that's why the toner sticks here. So if you have toner still on your adhesive sheet, uh, all you got to do is just adjust your process a little bit and um, yeah, should not be an issue. Uh, I'm just going to grab a pair of scissors really quick. Now I know I said no cut, meaning, and, and I'll show you this graphic right now. I'm going to show it back to the camera. Sometimes the adhesive residue does tend to stick to the uh, edge of the clear sheet or the A sheet. So all I'm doing here, I'm just trimming it down just in case. I just don't want any of that adhesive residue on my actual garment. So that step, it's... But what's cool is... The adhesive only sticks to the print. It doesn't stick to the film. So there's no, so this graphic right here, imagine cutting that out in your vinyl cutter. First of all, you'd have to cut a bunch of different layers, but second, that'd be a nightmare to, to weed. So now I'm just going to grab my t-shirt. Going to pre-press it for just a few seconds, all right? There we go. Get out any wrinkles and moisture. And what's cool about this is, um, you know, this is a cotton poly blend. And so some, you know, polyester is usually more heat sensitive than, than cotton. So with these transfers, with white toner transfers, you could press them as low as like 265, which is super, super cool. Now for this one, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm not gonna change the temperature uh, on my heat press. I'm just gonna press and go. Um, but I could, if I had the time. If I wasn't live streaming right now, uh, yeah, I could definitely lower my temperature. And what lowering the temperature achieves 
uh, is a reduction in press margin. We're not gonna scorch it uh, like we would. Now, really quick, I am gonna change my timer down to 60 seconds. Oops, oh, that's fast. Here we go. Same pressure, same heat. We're just doing 60 seconds when we apply it to our t-shirt and it's gonna be a cold peel on the garment. Uh, really quick, getting back to the questions here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sonia Johnson says, great info. Oh, thank you. Uh, T-Town t-shirt says, so fold in the paper then. Yes, you could do that too. You could fold the edge of the paper. However, because it's coated in adhesive, sometimes I've noticed that I have to kind of peel that part too. I've personally found, and if you guys have a, a better workflow, go for it. I'm not trying to like say that my way is the best way. Uh, but per personally, I found that I do like just putting a little shred of paper in that corner. Um, CEG says, I bend my corner up to help with the peel. Definitely, if that works for you, go for it. Um, Karen says, hello from Plant City, Florida. That's a cool city name, Plant City, I like it. Uh, uh, Fet Fun says, do you show some RIP software tricks? Okay, that's a great question. And uh, I'll answer that right now. So here we go, now on the press, I am just going to remove it. I'm not gonna peel, remember this is a cold peel. So I'm just gonna carefully, we're actually gonna take this over to our, uh, to our demo station where I'm gonna keep answering questions about white toner. Okay, so right here, here we go. This is my shirt. We're gonna let, it's very hot right now. Um, so really quick, going back to that question from Fetphone, I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> uh, do you show some RIP software tricks? I do, not today, because I don't have my computer set up here. Now, with that being said, we do have white toner classes twice a week. This week they have been suspended because it's cyber week, so it's crazy. Everybody's on the phones and, and live streaming and all that jazz. Uh, but we do have white toner classes. Uh, we have two every week, so you're welcome to sign up for that. You can actually sign up now. You'll see when the next classes open up. Um, but yeah, we talk about white toner. It's more geared for beginners, but, 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 but if you're there in that class, you're welcome to, to come with any questions that you have. Uh, also, we have lots of videos on our YouTube channel that show you the different tricks and tips for using white toner. Uh, and then kind of, I probably should have answered this question first, but Caprina Ganey Spikes is saying, now what program you use? Yeah, so uh, I printed this with a Creo white toner printer. Um, it comes with a program called Digital Factory 10. It's a, what we call a RIP software. So RIP, R-I-P, stands for Raster Image Processor. Uh, and it's essential to have a good RIP program uh, when you're sending these graphics to print. Because most printers are like CMYK, they don't have white, so they don't, the, it's funny to say this, but like the printer doesn't know how to print with white ink. So you have to have a special program to tell the printer how to print with white ink. And then also in that program, we're able to do different things like knock out the, uh, the colors from a graphic, add the rasterization of the tiny little holes, uh, so yeah, so this, I'm just letting this shirt cool down here for a second. You know, you could even, if you want to, you could even fan your shirt. Uh, you just wanna make sure that it's completely cool before you peel it. Um, but yeah, we can, We have videos that show how to use the RIP software. Uh, very, very cool. White toner, it, there is a little bit of a learning curve to it, but as you're seeing right here, it, it's not difficult uh, to execute once you figure it out. It's very cool. And then again, full color graphics, no cutting, no weeding, and uh, no, like, no tricks. Like, as you saw, I, the only thing I didn't show you was just the print, um, but like the AB process, uh, the shirt to, the shirt to, uh, sorry, transfer to shirt process. You guys are seeing all this live right here. Uh, Roseanne's asking how large is the printer? Uh, yes, so this printer, the Creo 8432 WDT, which is what I used for these transfers. By the way, these are eight and a half by 11 inch transfers but it does print up to tabloid. Um, it prints up to, I wanna say 11.8 by like 19 or something like that. Um, so if you have the, if you're buying the tabloid 11 by 17, you could definitely handle that and it goes up just a little bit bigger um, by like, you know, a few fractions of an inch. Uh, Hooked on a Stitch says, I need more room. That's my, that's my life struggle right now is I don't have enough room for all the <laughs> heat press equipment that I wanna buy. Uh, T-Town says, I like the white toner process and outcome. I just wish they had an 11 inch one. Yeah, so the Creo, it prints just a little bit over 11 inches wide, 11 by 17. Um, we do have one, excuse me one second. 
So sorry, guys. I, I'm just fighting off a, a cold here. But still coming in because I care about you guys, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, so, oh, so we also have the iColor 800 Pro, which is, is like, it's like 12.6 or 12.8 by like 19.2 or something like that. If you go to our website right now, you go to the white toner section, you'll see the specs. I'm sorry I don't remember them off the top of my head, but that'll get you close to 13 by 19, which is pretty doggone massive. So yeah, we definitely got those. They come at a price, but we have them. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Hooked on a Stitch says, Heat Press Nation, I'll be buying more products from you in the near future. Oh, that's so good to hear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then uh, T-Town says, oh shoot, I didn't know they had a bigger printer. Yeah, oh, they got them. They come at a price, but they got them. All right. This should be cool enough to peel. So when we're peeling our white toner transfers, we don't rip it up and off. I know with Supercolor, you just, when it's hot, you just, whoosh, you just peel it right away. For white toner transfers, what we do is we'll start at a corner and we'll roll it. So what I do is I'll hold the shirt and I'll just roll it like that, keeping it as low to the surface as possible. Boom. Dude, look at this. No weeding, no cutting. And uh, doggone, so cool. Uh, D says, so cool and bless you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, Blue Alps Chalk says, grab the mug press in case of mugs. I love to hear it. Okay, so real quick pointer on this. I don't have any toner left on my A sheet. If you have a white toner printer and you notice that you still have toner left over here, that probably means most likely like 95% chance is you did not let your shirt cool enough before peeling. I know sometimes for our customers in the hotter states, especially when they're pressing in the summer, they actually have to take their transfers indoors into the air conditioning or put it in front of a fan so it could cool completely. If it's still warm, uh, it's not the adhesive won't be fully cured. And instead of bonding with the shirt, it's gonna sting on your clear adhesive sheet. So as you can see, there's nothing left on this sheet. It's perfectly clean. No toner left here. Uh, so that's how I know that I waited long enough and I let it cool enough before I peeled. And then of course the evidence is right here on the shirt. This looks fantastic. It is a little glossy. Let's go ahead and take it back to the heat press. We're gonna do what we call a finishing press or a seal. And uh, we're gonna repress this. It's gonna make it nice and sealed into the garment. It's also gonna kill off some of this gloss. So let's head over back to our heat press. So now all I'm doing here is I'm just gonna reload this onto my press. And sorry, you guys are getting my back. I know it's like rude to turn your back on people when you're talking to them, but you know, gotta do what I've gotta do, guys. I'll be rude for you, because I love you. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna cover this with my parchment paper. We do sell a product called a tea seal. It's specially designed for this exact step, but if you don't have it, you can still use parchment paper. I'm gonna bring this in. Now this is really the sealing step. Just keep an eye on your clock. You only want to do this step for about 10 to 15 seconds. You don't need to go overkill on this part of the process. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now again, we're rolling. Remember, we don't rip anything up and off in white toner. We roll it. We roll it. And that looks freaking amazing. I'm going to hold this up to the camera right here so you guys can see. Oh, you know, I don't know if it's getting enough light here. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I have to take it back to the desk. Okay, so that looks great. Actually, if this will autofocus in, yes, it will. Oh, such a good day. So you see these tiny, tiny little holes. That's the rasterization effect. And believe it or not, the presence of these little, little tiny holes is what adds so much breathability and flexibility to this transfer. Uh, and then as you can see here, so like for this graphic, and I might have to like skip back just a little bit. I'm gonna go to the other camera. I just wanted you guys to see the hole. So just etch that into your memories, please. Okay. <laughs> so this graphic, and let's go ahead and go overhead really quick. I do wanna show you guys. Um, so this graphic right here, if you look at like the tire, if you look at like the accents in, the, uh, in here, the text, the black text on Heat Press Nation, that is actually just the dark t-shirt peeking through. So you remember when I first showed you that transfer, how it looked like transparent. That's because we didn't print any black. We let the black of our t-shirt fill that in. And the result is an incredibly soft, flexible, just easy to wear t-shirt. So I have this, if you, and if you want proof, just go to our YouTube channel, look at the thumbnails. You'll see me wearing this in a bunch of videos, um, this transfer. 
I've been wearing this, not this t-shirt, I just made this one, but I've been wearing a, this shirt, uh, a t-shirt with this exact transfer on it for about six, seven months now. It's washing great, it's holding up great. I wear it every week specifically because I want to know how it's going to hold up. So when you have a t-shirt like this with a lot of processing um, on it, and again, this is kind of our best case scenario t-shirt. Yeah, I've washed it in seven months. If I'm washing it every week, it's like what, 25, 28 washes minimum. Yeah, so it looks great. The colors are still holding up really nice. Uh, the transfer feels good. And that's really important in a t-shirt transfer. If you want people to keep wearing your stuff, it has to feel good. The shirt has to be comfortable, and white toner really allows us to do that. Now, I know you guys saw my Santa Claus transfer, and you're probably curious if I'm gonna heat press it. Um, yes, but that's gonna be on Instagram a little bit later today. Uh, we're gonna go live on Instagram. But what I do have for you guys is a giveaway. So in a few minutes, stay tuned, I have two. $50 gift cards that I am going to be giving away live right now. So don't go anywhere. That's coming up in just a few minutes. Really quick, I got some questions here uh, or comments. Uh, D says it looks fantastic. Thank you. Sonia says you're good. Oh, I appreciate the kind words, guys. I really do. Uh, Designs by Arian says, so excited to receive my Craft Pro mug press, heat press, and sawgrass printer. Thank you for a great Black Friday sale. Yes. Heck yeah. I'm so excited that you guys are taking advantage of this sale because these really are the absolute best deals of the year by far. Uh, so I'm so stoked uh, that Designs by Arias that you were able uh, to get that taken care of. It's really cool. Uh, D says, wow, I love it. Nice. Blue House Chalk says, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Michelle says, uh, you said it only works on light and dark colors. Is there any products like this using inkjet printers that could be used on dark light everything? So a little bit earlier today, I did go live and I did show one of my favorite inkjet products. Now, it does work best on white shirts, um, but with inkjet product products, you always have to cut them uh, in a vinyl cutter, or you could print like a full square image, you know, and just easy, easy, make it an easy trim. But for this graphic, uh, this would be in, literally impossible. So this graphic is not possible on an inkjet printer because of the processes that we did to it. Again, we removed all the black. So, your vinyl cutter would have to cut out every last section of black, and then we added those tiny little holes. There's no cutter that's gonna cut with that kind of tiny precision uh, onto inkjet paper. So unfortunately, you can't get anything exactly like this with inkjet. There are inkjet printers, of course. I showed off my favorite inkjet papers a little earlier today, and we were able to make this really cool. Uh, I'll show you on the overhead, probably better. So I was able to make this really cool graphic. This is a light gray t-shirt. Um, and this right here, of course, a white t-shirt. These are cotton. These are 100% cotton, by the way. Uh, so yeah, so inkjet paper definitely has its place. It's not going to be the same as white toner, um, but it definitely has its place. And honestly, I say do what you can with what you have. If all you have is an inkjet printer, then what you're going to have to do is a little bit more work to kind of edit your graphics and just make them suitable for your media and for your method, but it's not impossible. I think it's really awesome. Uh, so yeah, uh, Veronica is saying, awesome, oh, thank you. Bearded Dad says, today was an SG500, HPN 1624, HPN 411 mug, and an IQ360 hat press ready for anything. Dude, no kidding. Man, I'm super stoked on the order. I've been wanting the 360 IQ cap press for so long, pretty much since it came out, I think like a year ago. So I'm stoked. Anybody who gets it, I'm like, yes, you're my hero. I love that one. Uh, CEG says, I did it. Just ordered the Evo 24-inch vinyl cutter. Yes, four colors of puff vinyl, a mug press with shipping all for under 610. Yes, indeed, you guys. The Evo 24 by itself is $1,000 regular price. So not only did CEG, uh, Creative Expressions and Gifts, get the Evo, they got four colors of puff and a mug press for under, six, uh, for under 610. That's insane, and I do have to remind you that uh, if it could ship ground, so as long as it's not one of our like 500 pound heat presses um, or in like super, super mega large uh, cutters, if it could ship ground, it'll ship for free to the lower 48 states with no minimums. I was online shopping this weekend and everyone was offering free shipping after like $50, $75. Dude, if all you wanna do is buy a pack of this inkjet paper that I showed off uh, on a previous live episode, go for it. 
no, uh, no minimums for free shipping when it's FedEx ground, when it's the lower 48 states. Uh, very cool. Uh, Tim Johnson says, hashtag Cyber Monday. Yeah, I love Cyber Monday. Uh, very cool. Veronica says, place an order today. Yes, yes. I love to hear it. You guys, you guys are like fueling me <laughs> to get to this day. Believe it or not, I've actually been here since 6 a.m. So I'm just like, I'm running on like coffee and like good vibes right now. Um, Sonia Johnson says, creative expression, that's a bargain. The venture is $1,200 from Cricket. Yes, look, I, I, I don't like, I'm not trying to like bash anybody, but the venture is... With the stand, the venture is $1,200 from Cricut. It's not as fast and it's not as quiet as the Evo. And yes, the Evo does come with the stand for free in that price. Most vinyl cutters, stands are sold separately and they're like a hundred and something bucks. Evo is included for free. So just had to throw that in there. Thank you for, the, uh, for making that point for me, Sonia. Uh, Creative Expressions and Gifts says, yes, shipping was free. Yep, yep. Uh, Sonia Johnson says, gotta love it. CEG says, now I need some serious sales. Yes, yes, for sure. Um, okay, I think, I think we're ready to give some stuff away. So I see some of you guys out there posting hashtag Cyber Monday. That was the giveaway hashtag earlier today, but I knew you were gonna do that. I knew it because it happens every time and I love it. It means that you guys are watching earlier. So I'm not, I, I think it's funny, I'm not mad at all. But we have a new hashtag for today's giveaway. So if you wanna be entered to win our giveaway, I'm giving away two $50 HPN gift cards like right now in just a couple of minutes. Uh, so you're gonna see a hashtag come on screen. All you have to do, comment that hashtag. You can comment once on, Inst on Facebook Live, once on YouTube Live. No need to spam with multiple comments um, because the, the, the app that we use, it just picks one comment uh, per user per stream. Uh, so it's gonna come up on screen right now. Uh, and there it is, hashtag heat press nation, all one word. Make sure that you use the pound sign, the hashtag. Uh, make sure that you, there's no spaces. And make sure you spell it right. It does not account for misspellings, unfortunately. Uh, so there we go, have at it. Comment hashtag Heat Press Nation. We're gonna give you guys a minute to comment before my, my, my feed gets totally spammed by entries. Uh, let's see, let's see. CEG says, I wanted it last year. I waited too long and the price went up. I need something faster than my silhouette, yep. Natreya says, let me get to buying some of these deals. Yes. Michelle Adams says, I've been dying to get a plotter. I wish I could afford a plotter that prints and cuts at the same time. I wish, gotta look into Evo though. Yeah. In my experience, I've only found the Roland BN20 to print and cut. Um, but one thing I've noticed about that, a lot of BN20 users, um, which by the way, starts at like 6K, a lot of BN20 users, when they start getting the orders in, they'll buy a separate cutter. So that way the BN20 can just focus on printing and you have a really fast cutter like the Evo focused on cutting. So you don't stop printing. And you know, while it's cutting your first job, your second job is already printing. So yeah. So even if you do get the combo, the combo like the Roland BN20 is a great place to start. I wish we carried it. Um, it's a great place to start, but once business goes good, you're probably gonna want the Evo anyway. So it's, I definitely super uh, encourage you guys to get the Evo. Um, Roseanne says, great giveaway, and I wish everyone luck in winning. Yeah, I see the comments coming in. Hashtag Heat Press Nation. Uh, <laughs> Ken Jenkins says, running on coffee and good vibes. Great shirt idea. Go for it. You have my full permission. Uh, if you sell a bunch of those shirts, just like buy me dinner or something like that. That's a great, yeah, go for it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think everybody, how, how much longer do we have, Alex? Oh, <laughs> it's done. Okay, sorry, guys. Entries are cut off. That's it. Uh, we're gonna let the computer do its thing. Give me just a second here for this. Uh... Doggone. Oh, first winner is already up. Linda Lowry, hashtag Heat Press Nation. Congratulations, Linda. You just won a $50 gift card to Heat Press Nation. Let's see, we got another one coming up, another one coming up. Let's see. Natreya Peterman says, hashtag Heat Press Nation. Yes, you are our second winner. Natreya, I hope I'm saying that right. So Linda, Nutreya, do me a favor, shoot an email over to winner at heatpressnation.com to claim your prize. Once again, that is winner, W-I-N-N-E-R. You see it there on your screen? Uh, winner at heatpressnation.com. Send us an email. We'll get you guys your gift cards. You can spend that ASAP. Uh, everybody say, you know what? I love our crowd because you guys, uh, you guys, everybody's wishing you guys congratulations. That's so nice. I've been in some live streams where people give stuff away and then everybody's like, it's really angry. And I'm like, guys, we're just having fun here. 
But we don't have that problem. Thank God. At heatpressnation.com, everybody in the chat is like really friendly and nice. One thing I love about the Heat Press community is everybody's awesome. Uh, yeah, D, you're very welcome. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, real quick, just to recap, today, Cyber Monday, everything that's going to be on sale is on sale. But I have to remind you that our sale, uh, while yes, it does run until today, um, and I believe, rumor has it, it's gonna get extended to the end of the week. Just because it may get extended doesn't mean that our inventory gets extended. We have a set amount of inventory for certain deals. Uh, honestly, if you're looking at that Evo 28 inch for $500, <laughs> get on that fast. Cause I know that one like, dude, that's such a good, good deal. But if there's something that's on sale right now that you like, go for it. Because chances are it's gonna sell out before the end of the week. And like, again, Heat Press Nation, we love our customers. We try our best to work with everybody. We have 25, over 2,500 five-star reviews on Google to prove it. But like the one time of the year where we like have to put our foot down is our Black Friday sale. If you miss out on the special pricing, if an item sells out, when we restock it, we have to sell it at, at regular price. And after the sale ends, when this sale finally ends, we, we cannot honor sale pricing. So please, 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 don't make me feel like a bad guy. Just buy it right now while it's on sale. Alrighty, uh, for all the complete details of our Black Friday sale, head on over to heatpressnation.com. I am gonna be live at three o'clock today. I have two more giveaways uh, to share. So if you didn't win today, you still have another chance later on today at three o'clock Pacific time. Uh, also in, I don't know exactly when, but between now and then, I'm gonna go live on, on Instagram. This cool skater Santa, I'm gonna uh, press this one uh, as well. So if you wanna see a little bit more information on white toner transfers, be sure to join me on Instagram between now and 3 p.m. All right, let me see, last comments, questions. Uh, Michelle says, y'all are amazing. Thank you guys, I actually appreciate that. Thank you guys. Um, let's see, let's see. Some friendly help here, CEG is saying, Dad, uh, bearded dad, I think you'll love the Evo. I checked out the specs and it's a great cutter at an amazing price. It is indeed. <laughs> CEG is gonna be back at three o'clock. I hope to see you guys all back at three o'clock for another chance to win some great prizes. See some cool demos and uh, hang out with your pal. Alrighty guys, my name is Jared here with Heat Press Nation. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'll see you around.